Hey, what is up, guys? It's your boy Zero here, back with another spicy tutorial. I right? so like a ton of people. Well, yeah, actually a ton of people. I said tutorial on how to make this. This is like a text I made for my banner that I'm currently using, and almost a hundred people freaking like this, saying, "Boy, do it! Like, let's do this!" And I think I did that like a week ago, and I've just kind of been procrastinating it. But screw it, let's freaking do this guys so before we start you are gonna need cinema 4d I use virgin r17 and you're gonna need some sort of like blocks you know to like do this kind of stuff and I'll leave a link to the strict in the description to the blocks I use because those are pretty good and they're like already extruded and they look fairly nice so yeah guys without further ado let's get straight into this already then guys so fairly simple gonna try and do this freaking pass so settings up here i just change it to either 1280 by 720 or 1920 by 1080 but that's up to you so well with that so first thing i do is go up to MoGraph, and that's to make the text i go to MoGraph, mo text right here i'm just gonna change it i don't know i guess i'll put zero why not um i just well okay so text what the fudge okay so text is a little bit big and so i'm just gonna change that to about 70 something like that and I'm gonna change the depth to about 20 to 25 just depends on what you think looks good I'm just gonna align it to the middle and so here we have our basic text but it looks like shiz and so the font I'm gonna choose is called the go go poster punch so here let me find it there it is and so what I'm gonna do is what the is come up here and duplicate this text later control C control V and on the duplicate go to caps change both of the caps to fill the caps and change the radius to about two or three and then just drag it backwards so now I have this kind of like offset kind of text thingy it looks looks pretty decent and so now we have that but that doesn't look too great so I'm gonna come up here to this bend object and I'm gonna put a wrap and then just select all of it and click on or alt G I'm just gonna name this text and it should start bending your text you can select this and then just mess with the width and the tension settings and you can just hide it the effects will still be there but I'm just gonna disable it for now and so basically now we have that and that that's pretty much text I mean it's it's fairly simple so now I'm gonna select these two text objects and click C on my keyboard and then it should just like make it so they're all individual so now I can select each and every single letter on its own and we're gonna need that so we can put like different textures and different colors on each of the letters and so that's what we're gonna do as well as add blocks and then if you guys want you guys can add like uh, I don't know like a skeleton head or something so I usually add the blocks and I'll leave this the link can download to these blocks I use down in the description so I'm just gonna go into the blocks right here and I'm, I guess I just use cobblestone and the mossy one and I guess oak wood planks why not I'm just gonna open these and just drag the actual object out of its group so I don't have a ton of groups I'm gonna select them all alt G I'm just gonna name this I don't know blocks or something and what you're going to want to do, so I'm just going to select each block, and on this right here, the position over here, I'm just going to change it to zero on everything, and then enter, so it's just all aligned to one place for now. And let me just do that. So there you go. So now I'm just going to select all of them, click T on my keyboard, and then just click anywhere that's not like the arrows. And then just shrink it down while holding shift, and shrink it down to like 50 and now they're all like the same size and so now we just kind of arrange them I guess you could just mess with it but before I do that so I'm just gonna make this invisible I'm going to just randomize all these letters so you just select the first letter up here and the first letter on your cap and click R on your keyboard and it'll open up the rotate tool and I just kinda like do these weird kinda rotation thingies it just makes it look a little bit better and so I guess I'll do something like oh shoot something like that and 
there, I guess. I'm just kind of doing this fairly quickly. You guys can obviously spend more time on it and, you know, mess with it a whole lot more. But that's the text. And so now I'm going to work on the blocks and I'm just going to drag it inside this text thingy. So the wrap applies to everything inside. And so I'm just going to start putting the blocks everywhere and then just kind of rotating them as well. And you can shrink them so they're different sizes and you have like a bit more variety, I guess you can say. So it looks just a tiny bit uh, more messy, which is, I guess, kind of the style you're probably going for, but whatever. So that's just me. And I'm just going to do something like that. And you just select the object, hold control, and then just drag, and then let go of control. And it just duplicates it. Or you can just come up here. Um, so yeah, let me just finish putting all the objects, and I'll be right back with you guys. Alrighty then, so now we have all of our blocks, and so we can turn on this wrap, and then you can adjust the wrap accordingly now, because it might make it look a little bit weird, or you can just not have the wrap, that's just up to you though. So, what I like to do, and even on renders, the Minecraft renders, I like to add it some sort of dynamic pose, not just have like something boring, I guess. So what I like to do is come up here to this spline, and then just put like a circle or something and then just click T and then just shrink it down all the way to zero and then put a camera object and then on the positions over here just put everything except the Z's except the Z over here anything on this bottom row to zero so just put everything except that bottom row to zero and drag the camera inside the circle I'm just gonna hide it and then get inside the camera and so if you select the circle now and click your rotate tool you can add these dynamic poses that you can't really normally get and you can do control Z because you're technically rotating the circle instead of just moving your camera position so that that's kind of a plus I guess and so I don't know it just adds a little bit more like just a little bit to the text I guess so we have that now and that's pretty much it I mean I'm gonna show you how to add the like block textures and so when you import the blocks you'll have the textures right here so I'm just gonna put them like it might look weird at first but I'll show you how to fix that right now I'm just gonna add them you know to the text and stuff so there you go and so all the blocks or all the textures that all the block textures you put on the text you're just gonna select them all by holding control and clicking and it should you should have this pane right here and you're gonna change the projection from UVW mapping to cubic and then turn on seamless and then depending on your text you're gonna change this from about the length the u and the length v you're going to change this to about 30 to 40 and there you go so now it looks more like an actual block texture and you can notice it a little bit more and then you can just add new materials if you want to because i mean personally i just don't like having all block material text i guess i usually add white and then this dark gray and i turn off the specular because it just makes it look horrible but that's just up to you so i'm just gonna put stuff you know whoops there you go and then I'll just put that and basically that's your whole text you can save it somewhere to like your desktop or something just name it something and that I mean that's pretty much it from there you can customize it more add more blocks add items swords popping out of it whatever the heck you want right but some people don't know how or just want to know how to add like the skeleton and this skeleton rig is like six bucks or something like that but yeah so um i'm just gonna come over here if you have this one which i'll link to in the description as well and i'm just going to select the head and then just find where it is by opening this up and there it is i'm just gonna drag it out and delete the rest of it so i only have the head and then you can either replace you can use like mob heads and stuff like that to replace certain letters like maybe instead of the o on mine instead of the o on zero i'd put like just a skeleton head or like a wither head or an enderman head or whatever the heck right or like how i did um for my banner i just kind of rotated it and then opened up its mouth like this and selected the letter and then just shrank it so it fit in its mouth 
and you can make it look like I guess the skeleton is swallowing or whatever the heck it is like the letters inside of it I guess I mean that's just up to you this is completely up to you but that's pretty much it for this tutorial I tried making this fairly quick and yeah guys so that's pretty much it I'll see you guys next time make sure to follow me on Twitter and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you guys later peace